All right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. it is another day of the renegade stream it's a beautiful day yes it is we are off to an amazing start loading in with 52 players and a whole lot of teams i cannot wait to see who gives us the show the show that we expect yesterday we had a lot of the teams doing wonderful things wonderful things. And it is so interesting having 15 teams going against each other because yo the expendables will be taking a lot of damage. A lot of the teams are taking a lot of damage. Bro. The Batty boys are down to two players. Loading them with just three players. That is a disadvantage in itself. Gets he manages to get away there. Because can Capone make it? It does not seem likely. He just needs to hold out because there's two teams here. Prime and I think the top rated. Yeah, that's the top rated score that's there with the most. Team 7 will have Bovos on his knees. Spartan, the last man standing. He can't get one teammate back in. There's so many bodies dropping. I can't even keep track of it. Triple kill. Vent Esports, another team that is a team to look out for. We had three teams that just did wonderful things yesterday. Triple Vent kill. finished with a 20 bomb. Prime finished with, I think, 18 on the map they won. Triple kill. And there was one other team that finished with 30 kills. TL Cosa Nostra. Yes, the leaders Cosa Nostra. Are the leaders in the lobby today? I don't think they are, but the top rated contenders will be the kill leaders though. With a total of three eliminations starting the game. Butcher will be sitting with one, Thor with another, and Laver with the third here. The Costa Nostra squad trying to get themselves back into the game. Slifer, a seasoned player. We we've all seen we if you were on the stream yesterday, you saw you saw what they did. They were just having way too much fun there.
all right we are back the no squad he didn't see much from them yesterday actually but they are currently sitting as the kill leaders it's three minutes into the game it's still the first ring we still have like 12 12 11 minutes of play time to go who's gonna give us a show now no team has been eliminated yet tnt will be having error on his knees but he will be getting picked up by prime windy is windy i, I thought windy was playing for just try prime why is he on tnt today supernova male squad the females in the lobby today I, I, ho I hope they are because towards the end of the game yesterday they were actually doing pretty good tj esports also doing good for themselves for the start it's going to be six games that will be played today because we did get an early start because when we get a, we got a late start yesterday that's why we had to play just three instead of six but six games will be played today and we will be giving beautiful commentary on everything top right hand will be down to just macy and who may be getting eliminated here team one will be coming in to save him they have been the unlucky for him. as a top rated save and top kill. rated my goodness the tnt squad will be going against another top rated after almost bodying one they will be picking them off one by one windy gets a knock on lever is laver going to get eliminated they get a knock on windy so it's a trade now can mold hold out for his team to get to him if he tries to go, he's going to get Boom. Double kill. They're holding their own. They're doing the damage. The team has finally regrouped. A drop on. He gets him on knock though. He and T are fighting for their life here. Will they be the first to get eliminated? It's not looking good for TNT. It is not looking good for TNT. Pretty smart play for Stormy getting that exit out there because holy... Brother would have get the, the whole team would have got him packed there. What? <laughs> nah, that M18. That M18 came in clutch there. But he used both of his wall. He is now out of glue old, which is a quite it's quite a risky sport. Six minutes into the game, no team has been eliminated. The end zone is going to be mental. Triple kill. Yesterday we had a lot on the second game on I think next Terra, we had a really crazy end game there. It was like the final closing and we still had 11, we still like kill. 14. <laughs> Supernova will be the first team to be getting a limited shut down by Vent Esports. Unlucky for them. Seven minutes to take one team eliminated. Today is going to be quite a day for me as a caster because I'm just going to be yapping most of the time. But the top rated contenders, they, they didn't have the best start yesterday. They didn't have the best games yesterday. So I think now that it's going to be a six-game split that's going to be played, they are coming with the fire. As they are holding 11 eliminations already. Molt may be getting packed up here. Laver will be going down yet again. Unlucky for him. He needs to give up quickly so his teammates can put him back in action here. TNT will be getting eliminated rather unfortunate for them. But staying deep in the Killing ring, taking spree. fights here. It looks like the top rated are getting picked off one by one. That's rather unfortunate. Freaker will be going down. Molt is dangerously low here. He can't afford to go outside. They're gonna get that res off on Freaker. VX Star is going down also because the res zone is not in his favor here. Mort is the last man standing. He gets two of his teammates back into the game. That's pretty impressive. No, no lie. His HP is gang low. He doesn't have any glue walls. He needs to force this. If he's going for it. Unlucky for him. He gets picked off from the side. But he, he did kill. keep his team alive. They weren't able to secure a kill, but he kept them in the game. Triple still. Kill. 
13 teams remaining. Only two teams have been eliminated. We haven't gotten to the points where po people actually gain placement points. The Outlaw News will be placing 13s. We are top, uh, into the top 12 teams now. Now the placement begins. That's just him lacking get a knock easily. Easy knock. Unstoppable! But the man's teammate is close by. There's another team. There's a whole lot of there's a whole lot of teams here actually. 12 teams and 40 players. The top rated contenders. The top are still the kill leaders. Are we gonna get a 20 bomb off rip? Vent starting off slow. Prime, I think the Prime got eliminated. One tap from Pogba there. <laughs> Lucky for the expendables. Gladiator almost on his knees. It's chaos. Triple Pandemonium for everybody. In 20 seconds, we have the first, the ring closing towards the fourth now. The men they need to get inside because being caught out on this ring is not going to be as helpful. It's gonna, I think it's going to do like four ticks a second. So they need to get inside as quickly as possible. Ten minutes into the game, we are halfway through playtime already. So it was the fourth ring. And we still have, let's say, 70%, like 85% of the lobby remaining still. Quateri kill. Video, Triple kill. Triple kill. Pablo just barely keeping TJ Esports in the game here. Four teams have been eliminated in the moment, so I had to be AFK for, for a minute there. But it is down to eight teams and 21 players. 12 minutes into the game, this is going to be an insane end, end zone. Because it's looking like the end zone, the zone is going to end in, a, in quite an open spot here. The Looney Corps will be getting eliminated. Seven teams remaining. 50% of the lobby gone. Top rated are now sitting with 14 eliminations to themselves. What is and these brothers are locked in. VT Zeno will be getting eliminated. Expendables. Are they trying to tank zone damage here? They don't have the... My brother, you don't have the facilities for that. No EP, no HP. You're just tanking. Uh, he's just gonna he's just gonna tank it he he's, he's giving up unlucky for him the expendables will be getting sent back to the lobby by zone damage here six teams and 16 players 13 13 minutes into the Triple game kill. who will be coming out with a win here the top six teams with tia cosa nostra with two eliminations to themselves the top rated with 14 eliminations and a single player so nostra will be sitting with three offenders will be sitting with six eliminations to themselves on a full stack TJ will be sitting with just Pablo and four eliminations to themselves. 
Vent Esports will be coming in with nine eliminations and a three stack. Team seven packed up. Top five teams remaining. Who takes the victory? Two teams from yesterday. Two teams that did well yesterday actually are still sitting with three stacks here. Triple kill. Unlucky pa Pablo got caught and got packed up. Offenders will back their seventh, but they are losing two players. It's rather unfortunate for them, to be honest. Can he get to Denizen? The zone is doing lack of damage. Oh, he got to him. Nice. Four teams remaining. Habib almost packed. Miller is quite is at quite a disadvantage here because now he has to rotate in. Vent has the best spot. They just need to hold, just need to hold everyone out. Because if you let them fight and just focus on the Cosa Nostra squad that's coming in, that's that's their biggest pop there. Triple kill. Vent are playing this perfectly. They keep this spot. Make sure no one gets in. They're giving up. They're giving up their building. And <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do it, Vent. Kill. I guess they're aggroing and it's working for them. Okay. Because they just focus. They should have just focused on gatekeeping. Heavy. Kill. Miller just trying to duke it out, waiting for the top three position here. He's a solo player. He should be eliminated right now. Offenders will be getting eliminated. FSCX is cooking, bro. Five players and three teams remaining. It seems like is this a vent victory here? Or are we going to see an upset in the packing? Because I'm not eliminated. It is now a 3v1. Miller versus Vent. Are we trying to get the reload? Almost gets a knock there. Put him on 100 HP, actually. Place a portal go right next to him. Spawns into him. Gets caught lacking from the side. 14 elimination. Sup TR Supreme will be coming in. Second place here. Five eliminations. 1990 damage. Vent Esports will take map one. With 26 points and 14 eliminations, Vents will take top one there. TR Supreme will come with 23 points and 14 eliminations also. In third place, Cosa Nostra will be coming in with 16 points and 8 eliminations. I wouldn't even lie, off rip. Wait. Yeah, I wouldn't even lie off rip. That has been a rather interesting start to the day. We still have five more maps to give beautiful gameplay. Beautiful gameplay from everyone here. I just I just, I just can't wait to see what happens. I hope we have just like what we had yesterday. Multiple teams just dominating different maps. Not one team just dog walking everyone. It's so interesting to see how the esports scene changes each time I get a chance to commentate. And I'm glad you guys actually gave me the opportunity to do it. But we will be right back with map two shortly.
We are on to next era for map two, and I can't wait to see who gives the fire because we're loading in with sixty players. Actually, fifty six. One team, one team got eliminated. They got not eliminated. They got kicked from the game because apparently they didn't have the maps downloaded. First blood. New kill leader. Oh, you be having one down. They are the current of the kill. Oh, that's the outlaw noobs. New kill. If you get a knock on multiple, can they keep? It going. Hexod will be going down unlucky for them. Triple, Triple kill. kill. Triple kill to the top rated contender. They did manage to keep Molt alive. Still, it is 14 teams and 20, 14 and 45 players remaining still. New kill leader. One team has been eliminated. Oh my goodness, I've been showing the wrong scene. My bro, oh my god. I've been showing the wrong scene the whole time. My god. Anyways, it is three minutes into the game, 13 teams and 46 players remaining. 45 players remaining. One team has been eliminated, rather unfortunate. The points have still not started counting yet. Because it's the top 12 teams that will be getting placement. Triple kill. The noobs are down to just wrecks rather unfortunate for them. Can they get themselves back in the game here though? I do hope so because I, I don't want to see them get eliminated so early. Team 7 will be getting packed. Triple kill. Another team packed up. TJ Esports packed up already. They did so well in the last game though, especially 
Is that the, the, the four teammates? I can't remember his name there. Pablo, especially Pablo. Pablo did do well to keep them in the game there. The Supernova squad will be sitting with four eliminations. They came in with only the male team to that. I wish we'd see the female team more often, to be honest. Still managing to stay in the game here with the top rated squad. We'll be sitting with five eliminations and a full stack. It is still 11 teams, 41 players remaining. The Batty Boys with the full stack this time. We're going against Just Try Prime. Windy is one shot by a sniper though. Yeah, that's not bad, that's bad. But Barbie will be going down, unfortunately, for a day. TNT. Oh, it's not even Prime is going against. They're going against TNT. TNT will lose one, will lose another. Will lose a third. Windy is the last man standing. What he needs to keep it pushing. They need to, he needs one eliminated quickly. He's gotten Claw back into the game here. Doesn't look like he's backing out though. Big hit with the big hit, big fully. And Windy will be going down again, unlucky for him. Oh, he managed to get back two of them. He got back Stoic and Claw. Pretty good for him, actually. Triple kill. And we had Claw just landing exactly where he died. Now that was pretty bold. That's pretty bold. Triple kill. For Clen. Quatery kill. Not having a good time. The prime. I'm seeing a lot of prime members just broken up into different teams today. Triple kill. Watery kill. Killing spree. Triple kill. Killing spree. Triple kill. What? Wait, wait, wait. Nine teams remaining, thirty two players left. The Supernova Squad will be in with four eliminations. Still, Four Clan will be sitting with two. Two eliminations to themselves. So Vent Esports with a single elimination. Who will be taking map two? Vent did take map one. Will they be able to go for a double double for a double here? TNT currently running with ten eliminations to themselves. I'm seeing a bunch of prime members on different teams today. What's 
What's happening? The Looney Corps will be with a single player. Like, I was about to say two players, but he just got tap. I'm lucky for him. From the deck. They're getting hit from two sides here. It's not the best time to be on this team. Yo. They're just getting hit. They're not even letting the res happen. But the Batty Boys will be sitting with 11 eliminations, still not the kill Triple leaders. Kill. You would think with 11 eliminations, they should be the kill leaders at this point, but apparently they not. Kill. Kill. Oops, are not <laughs> with 8 eliminations to themselves and a 3 stack. They need to get the rest of their team back. And they need to try to get the team back into the game because the ring is getting you a lot smaller. Supernova will be getting eliminated. Who will be taking the victory? Who will be taking a win here? Eight teams remaining, 26 players, 10 minutes into the game. Watery kill. Osa Nostra will be getting eliminated also, unlucky for them. But it is what it is, Grain. New kill leader. Top rated sitting with 13 eliminations. They are both new kill leader. Fourth ring. Half the lobby has been played. 50% of the lobby has been eliminated. We're entering ring four now. Everyone needs to get in quick. Triple kill. Hopefully we see a team play what like what we saw Venge do the last game. Just find a god spot and gatekeep. Everybody. Uh. Unlucky him, he will be going down with the doctor does get a trade on kill. The news will be getting eliminated. Up and Adam going straight with the shots there. Unlucky for Simo. Simo will be going down to Zeno there. Okay. TNT is coming like a hurricane. Not giving them chance to react. Triple kill. Great for the violence. New kill leader. Triple kill. New kill leader. Killing spree. Killing spree. What do we kill? TNT will be getting eliminated. The Batty Boys will be sitting with 17 eliminations, making it to the top three in the second game. Looney Corp surprisingly just ratting their way into the top three here. And in third place, we have Vent with nine eliminations to themselves. What the f Killing spree. Triple kill. Down to the top two teams, Bent versus the Batty Boys. Batty Boys about to drop a 20 bomb here. If they get that knock on Habib, they can easily farm the 20 bomb. Habib's gonna ego peak. He's gonna ego peak, but Dion drill let go of that angle that he's holding. VT Zeno really good now, so they hit the 20 bomb regardless. 21! Killing spree. We are going in on Vent. Holy. 
Then they start, they're not standing much of a chance here. From a 4v4 to a 2v4. Sounds like they're getting packed. Lyra will be going down 22 eliminations. Getting their 23rd on her beep in a 4v1. Can he clutch up, clutch or kick? 4v1 double snipers. Is this about to be a clip moment here? Unlucky for her. He will be getting eliminated. Put down by Capone. 23 eliminations. The Batty Boys will take map two. Eight elimination and 3177 damage. ZT Capone is the MVP for the Batty Boys. 35 points and 23 eliminations. The Batty Boys will be coming in first place. In second place, Vent Esports will be with 18 points and 9 eliminations. In third place, the Looney Corps will be with 12 points and 4 eliminations. That was still an interesting map too. We didn't we're not seeing a single team just dominate. We're seeing the teams actually switch up the playstyle and everybody's doing the violence. I can't wait to see what map three is gonna be like. Do not go anywhere, sit at the edges of your seat. We will be right back shortly.
and we are heading on to map this it is going to be quite a show actually because we're loading it with 56 players that's 14 teams still one team has not been able to make it back still. it's paramount you get your maps in 2024 because why do why are you playing competitively and you don't have the maps downloaded that should be a staple for all esports players but just before everyone touches down how's the game's been so far what team are you rooting for in the third map because we're oh, we're pretty much halfway through the day today First blood. New kill leader. And I literally just saw the messages from the chat when it said, oh, it's only your face that's showing. I genuinely didn't even know that was what was happening there. But 14 teams remaining, 50 players, 6 players have been packed. Lobby Black Horse will be... That's a, that's a name. But they will be the first team to be Triple getting eliminated kill. by the top rated squad. Thirteen teams and forty-nine players remaining in this game. We still have a whole lot of time. The Super Rovers Court. We haven't seen them make it to the top half of the lobby in the past three games. Not even in past three games. Like since yesterday, we haven't seen them play super aggressive, get killed, and actually make it survive. They usually just get packed. Are they going to be able to do that today though? Is this their map? Expendables will be the second team to get eliminated and we are on to the point in the lobby where placement points now exist. Top 12 teams will be getting placement points and kill points. The teams that the two teams that got eliminated earlier, unfortunately for them, they can only gain KP for that. And if they didn't get KP before they died, it is womp womp get good. 12 teams, 45 players, no are currently being hunted. Actually just one of them. That's a pretty smart move, actually. Gladiators being hunted, they take two different vehicles just to try to keep the survivability higher. But at the same time, it could backfire because if Hannibal gets caught out, he's gonna they're gonna get packed still. TNT loading in with just three players instead of four. That's a slight disadvantage, but they haven't shown themselves to be a team that what actually cares about the numbers of players they go into a fight, so they just dominate regardless. Twelve teams and forty-two players remaining. Who will be coming out with the victory today? 
Just give me a moment. TR Supreme will be getting eliminated. Unlucky for them. Triple kill. Triple kill. Triple kill. A triple kill still. Two teams have been eliminated in the moments where I was if if Mike, because I was me if I was away from just away from the mic. But ten teams remaining with thirty six players, six minutes into the seven minutes into the game actually. Who will be getting eliminated? We've had Ben take map one. Another team took the Batty Boys took map two with a twenty three kill game. Will anyone break the record of 20 kills today? Or will someone actually break the record set from yesterday of 30 kills? Alright, that's, that's actually pretty good. Just had to make sure something that was set up so the transitions are Triple removed. kill. Eight minutes into the game, it is still 10 teams and 34 players. With 11 limits and the kill leader. Holy cam with the toe gun here. The blue LSD trapped the way out of here, but the pop breakers core, they need to get out of here. They're still they're pushing in. Sorry pushed in. He doesn't know what he just walked into here. A troke party and he will be getting a level of the other breaking But he gets he picks himself up still. He can't make it out of here though. The Trogon is not tro is Trogoning, not even not Trogoning, it's Trogoning. I still got one tap, but I would pick a close ro close range. Me personally, I'd never let that slide. 13 eliminations to the Cosa Nostra squad. Butcher from the top rated is still alive, trying to get away from here. Will he be able to actually? He has been caught and the contenders have been eliminated. But there we go, TNT coming in with a third party here. Get a knock on Slifer, but they're unable to secure that finish there. TNT are down to just 
heroic that is not the best time for them it seems like the 3v the 3v2 actually the 3v4 sorry is actually is actually affecting them now because a lot of the, the lot of the teams are still running a full stack at this point at this stage in the game or 3v4 is actually going to hurt a lot Triple kill. What a kill. Killing spree. What a kill. Killing spree. Quateri kill. Triple kill. Eight teams remaining. It is 23 players still. I thought I was going to look, look back and say 50% of the lobby has been eliminated. But never mind. 50% of the lobby has been eliminated. As Team 7 will be getting eliminated by the ring. It's a ring for 20 seconds till we get to ring 5. TNT will be getting Killing put down, spree. unfortunately, for them. Slifer is running through everywhere. This was the game where they got a 30 kill game yesterday. Will they be able to today vents are having quite a quite a fight here so they try to take heights they have it they have multiple teams doing damage on them finally get Habibi not I hope they find it but they finally get the loony corpse eliminated and her be getting eliminated also Armageddon gets shot down Triple still kill. unlucky down to the top four teams, 12 eliminations of events, esports considered with a three kill. stack. Bassy boys, the winners of the last of one game, one of the games today will be the last Killing game actually. Spree. With 12 eliminations and a full stack. Cosa Nostra with 22 Killing eliminations kill. and a full stack still. It looks like they do want to go for the 30 kill game that they did yesterday, just like they did yesterday. Unlucky for K11, he has to run it down now. Will he be able to make it though? He sends his sending his homer out is not the smartest play now because if anyone spots him, it's curtains for him. One second, unlucky from the offenders will be getting eliminated. It is down to just Batty Boys, Vent, and Cosa Nostra. Triple kill. Two teams with a full stack and a single team with a three stack. But they, the back, the vent squad seems to have cut that down to two teams with a three stack and a single team running full here. VT Zeno gets in behind him there, but almost gets knocked. Two of them actually, two of the vent squad actually behind him there. The portal go the, the addition of survival items to the game just makes the rotations and the battles a lot more dynamic a lot more dynamic than it used to be actually because before you'd be thinking of how to run just push him just blind push him there but now you're actually playing smart trying to play angle with the portal bit because you can just create what a thought you can create blind spots xeno will be getting not unlucky for him he will be getting Eliminated three teams and seven players, 24 kills to the Cosa Nostra squad. I 
23 kill game was set in a 23 kill record was set in the last game but they are currently they've currently broken that already picks himself up those damage i'm lucky it's just not enough 26 eliminations and a single man left this is shaping up to be a cosa nostra victory batty boys will be eliminated 27 eliminations there 46 91 damage eight eliminations OFC slifer is the mvp for the leaders cosa nostra in map three with 39 points and first place, Cosa Nostra will be sitting comfortably there. The Batty Boys will be coming in second place with 21 points and 12 eliminations. In third place, Vent Esports will be going with 23 points and 15 eliminations. We will be back shortly with map four. I can't wait to see what the teams have in store for us today. Do not go anywhere except you're gonna go share the stream to a lot more people. We will be right back shortly. I spent all of the time just yapping to silence there. But we are on to map four. I can't wait to see what the game has, the players have in store for it. It is peak gameplay, to be honest. Just back to back violence. Loading in with 50 plus players is honestly so interesting to me. 56 players and 14 teams is so interesting because usually it's 12 teams, and that's just, that gives a lot of room for a lot of the teams to not fight for the most of the map. But now, every point, every turn I go, there's a team fighting, especially in Purgatory. It is honestly so interesting. I can't wait to see how Purgatory is going to play out. Now that's a bigger field. Who First takes, blood. Who takes the cake here? First blood will be going to the top New rated leader. squad. Oh, 
looking, bro. Playing it smart, playing angled and playing their lives. We're watching the top rated give a great performance. Unlucky for him. The vectors weren't weren't able, but his teammate will come in clutch here to pick him up and keep him in the game here. Triple kill. He turned a 4v3 into Double a, kill. A 3v1, because it is one man left for team three here. So far, a single team has been eliminated. The Outlaw Noobs have only a single player and that will be Hexod. Can he get his teammates back into the game or will he be getting packed? Both of us watch this man pull up in a V. Butcher doesn't want this man to just survive this. Is Butcher gonna be able to get a res here? He's the only one standing for him. He's still going eagle, still. Get the lock with one HP though. Triple, Triple kill. kill. That was risky. But when all else fails, just ego. Able to get one of his teammates back to the game. Habib taking shots. Oh. Just taking a whole lot of back shots at this point. And we'll be going down, unfortunate for him. But will he not? But will his teammate will Supreme be able to keep them in the game? Because Zeno, Liar, and Habib are currently spectating, just hoping, praying that they will be brought back into the game and not get eliminated rather early because that will hurt them a whole lot. TNT taking the, a lot of damage here, actually. Triple kill. Supernova will be leading with a total of eight eliminations to themselves. 
will they be able to maintain this momentum remember we've seen supernovas since yesterday and we haven't seen them play this aggressively especially take the title of kill leader at any point in the games that they played will they be able to maintain this because getting kill leader at the start of the game is quite easy actually but maintaining it they actually letting those points count because we're still in a dangerous spot here no kill point no placement point has been counted yet we just need one more team to get eliminated before we start having placement points count the portal go again the most diverse survival kit here constantly shifting the map here star will be getting knocked from behind the wall there rather unlucky for for them well quickly they were saved dion will be going down again unlucky they really want him there Barbie trying to get a peek his headshot, unable to. But Capone on another Triple side of the fight here, getting his own, he get, winning his one day. Doctor loves you, and he will be on his knees. Gets him off with a grenade there. Smart play from her, but she will be getting put down by the Trogon from height. I don't know. Could have played, could have played range better there because. Triple he has kill. a he has a trogon you have an smg you just try to walk out of the range of the trogon and you're good dude. i'm lucky for him now they know where he is getting pushed from two sides and we'll Triple be getting kill. shut down the batty boys have been eliminated the supernova are actually playing pretty aggressively on purgatory is this their map because a lot of the teams have map specific they have specific maps where they just pop off and for the supernova it seems like that will be purgatory because now they're the team that actually pushing us into the placement points to portion of the game Jimmy will be getting knocked from TJ East. Is TJ just top Jimmy? Triple kill. Nine minutes into the game, it is still 12 teams and 39 players. The zone has a very kill yet. Outlaw noobs are down to a single player. He's Rex going for the red, but it doesn't seem like it was worth it though. As Valti will get knocked again. Grenades going in. Rex, can he 1v4? He needs to 1v4, or he, his team will be getting eliminated here. It's not looking good for him. He's playing, a sm he's playing a pretty smart though. Trying to force an angle, but he gave up his angle. Play too wide. Outlaw Triple noobs will kill. be placing 12th here. Unlucky for him there. He got to play pretty close to cover there. As soon as he exposed himself, that's where he lost that fight. Lottery kill. Lottery kill. Killing speed. 
triple kill. The amount of nades that just fell onto that man's vehicle, I don't think insurance covers that, bro. What? Wow. They didn't even give him a chance. Because if they were shooting at the vehicle, at least they, if what if a headshot connects, okay, that's a that's a happy accident. Or if the vehicle blows up, GG. But they just fed him nades, bro. What? The, what? Nah. TNT will be getting eliminated for ninth place here. It is eight teams and 22 players remaining. Quarter kill. Triple kill. Twelve minutes into the game, it is the fifth ring pulling in right about now. 18, 17, eventually placing eight. I'm lucky for you. Seven teams and twenty-one players. With Ven getting eliminated for eighth place, that will be fifty percent of the lobby eliminated here. What Terry kill? Killing spree. Killing spree. EJ Esports will be getting eliminated. It is the top six teams. The offenders will be getting eliminated. It looks like the end game, the end ring will probably close onto the river here the river or by the zipline regardless the teams are the teams that don't have a building are going to be put at a major disadvantage here triple kill unlocked for team seven he gets caught by star and will be getting eliminated triple f Again, they are popping off on Purgatory. Blood Holy kill. Lee. Making it to the top three with a 20 bomb is phenomenal gameplay from them, to be honest. But the top three teams with the Supernova squad with 20 kills and... Yeah, 20 kills. Just 20 kills. 20 kills on a full squad, actually. Top rated with seven eliminations and a three stack. Cosa Nostra with six eliminations and a three stack still. Three teams, ten players. Who comes out on top? Quadra kill. Just like that, they've cut it down. Each team has just three players still. But props to Supernova, though. They've come so far from what we saw yesterday. Operated will lose Jiggy. Jiggy's up and at it. Never mind. Down below yet again. But the top rated are doing pretty good for the whole. And they are cutting through Cosa Nostra like hot knife and butter, bro. Just trying to make sure Cosa Nostra doesn't get Slifer back in because Slifer would be a problem for them. Good, 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 does it manage to get the knock in? Unlocked for the top rated. They were almost top two. Slifer trying to catch someone out with the Charles Boy to get eliminated. 24 kills. Holy. Seems like they took. They heard me say they weren't playing the best and they took that person in. Makes it inside. Puts him down. 25 kill points and first place will be going to 
Green with eight eliminations. He himself did. Super Supernova will be taking map four with 37 points and first place there. In second place, the TR Supreme will be coming in with 18 points and nine eliminations. In third place, Cosa Nostra will be coming in with 14 points and six eliminations here. I honestly cannot wait to see what map five has in store for us if we do go for map five. Just trying to confirm with the admins quickly before I give you guys any confirmation, but we will be right back till we get a confirmation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got word from the admin. We will be saying good night today. Catch you guys next Friday, 2 p.m. Nigerian time, 3 p.m. South African time for the next game. I'm your host, Gomi Bay Monster, who is Zeno, wishing you a good night and God bless.